Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh once again from learn-innovation.com. Today in this video, we are going to talk about another module called date time module. Okay, so generally we have this kind of requirement where we need to capture the current date, current time, and sometimes we need to format the time and we have to use it, right? So I will give you one example where I use this most of the time. Let's say I want to capture the screenshot based on the date time stamp. So definitely I need the current date time so that I can append, I can reuse it later, right? Maybe I want to generate some kind of reports and in this report, I want to attach date and time. So requirement can be uh, anything. It is up to you. How do you want to use it? But it is just like one line of code that we need to write in Python in order to get the current date and time. So let's see how we can do that. So I will say get time uh, demo. Okay. I'm just creating a small Python file. And first of all, we need to import a separate module called date time. And with the help of this module, you can capture the current date time. So how do we use just say uh, date time. Okay. Then again, say dot get time. And finally, you need to call a now. Okay. So now is a method which belongs to date time class. So the moment you say now, it is going to give you the current date and time. So let me store this into a separate variable. Let's say current underscore time so that I can, you know, uh, use it properly. So simply I will print. I will just say current time and let's see what will be the output. So you can see it is giving me output that it is 12th November 2020. And at the time of recording, this is the time it's uh, 10 p.m. Okay, 10 p.m. 41 minute and 07 seconds and so on. So now let's say if I just want to, I don't want the complete date time. I just want the current month, second hour or anything. So what will be uh, the approach? Okay, so in order to do that, what you can do, just say current time. And now let's say I just need the current hour. So I will say dot R, you can see. And uh, let's say if I just want second or let's say minute so you can see i got the minute let me also take seconds current time dot second then let me also print current month so same thing you just say dot month and uh, yeah let's quickly print the year as well okay i forgot the date sorry day so day and uh, this is the year fine now let's run this and here you go you can see this is the r it's uh, 10 pm so 22 then minutes 42 seconds 22 okay you can see the moment i run the seconds will change the rest everything will remain same so yes the second got changed and this is month which is november this is date sorry it's a day and this is the year perfect right now let's say you want to use this um, module okay let's say you want to use this method dot now and whatever time you got now you want to convert into a different format based on your requirement so how we can do that so in order to understand this format let me show you a very important thing called string actually it's strf time but its name is string from time so you can actually take the string from this time. Okay. So basically you have to use this code. You can see we have percentage small a percentage capital A percentage W percentage D and so on. And they have given a very good examples how you can do that. So first of all, uh, what I will do, I will just create another file and I will generate one small format and then I will show you how you can generate your own format as well. So I will just remove everything. Uh, let me first use any existing code which we have. Okay. So if I just show you that uh, what is the which weekday I'm using. Okay. So if I use small a with percentage, I will get in this format. But if I use uh, capital A, I will get in this form. So I'm recording this session on Thursday. So let's see. I will say current time uh, and I will say str which is string from time and now here I need to provide the code. So I will say percentage a small a and then I will simply use 
capital A. Fine. Let's run this and you should get the output. You can see for the first time for the first format, it says THU. And when I say capital A, it says uh, Thursday. Perfect. In the same way, guys, you will find uh, all the code I want you to, uh, you know, sit and decide in which format you want. I will show you my format, which I personally use. Okay, for my date time stamp. So I use personally this one. I will say current time dot strf time. And now, first of all, I need, okay, the standard time, hour, minute, second, month, date, and year. So I will use capital H. Then I will use underscore or hyphen. I will go with underscore. Then I will use percentage capital M. Okay, just remember capital is small letters play a very important role here. So I will say percentage again S. And if you want to see, just note down, guys. If you see capital H here, you come down here and you will see here it will give you hours in this format 07, 0, 010, and so on. Not 0, 010, uh, like once you cross the date, it will say 1011 and so on. Similarly, when you go for month, uh, sorry, hours and minutes. So second M is for minutes. I'm using capital M. So you will get in this format and so on. So this is for hours, minutes, uh, and seconds. Then I will be using month. Okay. So I will say percentage M, which is for month, then underscore, uh, percentage D then underscore percentage Y. Okay, so I'm using capital Y here because in the moment you come down here. Okay, where is capital Y? Just a second, guys. Yeah, so year with century as decibel number. So I don't want this format because 13 sometimes will it will be a little confusing for me. So I will go with 2013, 2014 and it's 2020 right now. So this is the format I'm using. So you can also use the same format, just copy paste. The moment you run this, and here we go. So you can see it's uh, 1046, 38. And if you can see, this is month actually. So probably what I can do, I can first print the date, then month, okay? So we'll go in this format. So now it will give you date. Oh yeah, now it makes sense. It's 12th November 2020 and this is the time. So guys, you might be needing this multiple time, right? Because as I mentioned that only two requirement, but in your case, you might have multiple requirement where you need to just capture this date time and you want to use it at multiple places. So it's always good that if you can create a utility for this so that you don't need to write this again and again. So as we know how to do it, we'll simply create a Python file. I will give this as utility. Fine. And I'm going to create a function. So I will use a def keyword and I will say current underscore time okay parenthesis colon and I will simply return this so again here I simply want to import so I will say import uh, date time right and simply again I will say this part where I will capture the time first of all right then I will just call this string format time which is strf time and I will simply pass this format and we are done so whenever you have to capture the current date and time in this specific format just import this utility and you just call this particular function which is current time okay so if you just want to cross check what we will do uh, I will create another file I don't want to confuse you with this so let me create a fresh file so if you see this utility is coming from date time demo right so first of all I will say from I need to provide the package right which is date time demo this is what we created now what we need to import we need to import utility right so just say import and just import utility and now you simply say utility dot current time and you should get the time so what you can do you can print here but whenever you have to use this date time in any of the places you just need to import this utility and call this function called current time just okay let's run from here 
and here we go just call twice and you can see we're getting right it is actually we are calling immediately so it is giving the exact same time maybe if you want to see the difference you just import time okay and what we will do we'll say time dot sleep so we'll give five seconds here so first we will get the time and after five seconds we'll again get the time so just run this this is current time after five seconds you'll get another time and here you go you can see the difference right this is the difference in seconds so i hope this was a uh, useful guys i personally use this uh date time a lot so i thought i will create a quick video on this so if you are new to this channel guys then please make sure you subscribe and in case if you like this video then hit the like button share with your friends and i will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye